Hello and welcome to Karuna's Veg Kitchen. Today we're going to be making roasted butternut tikka masala. It's bursting with flavors, packed with nutrients and fibers, and is the perfect dinner for winter or autumn. Tikka refers to meat, and that is why I have placed it in inverted commas, because obviously we're going to be making the vegetarian version of this recipe. This is the soya I have used in my recipe. It is very popular in South Africa and if you don't want to use soya, you can use a different protein or you can use tofu. You're going to need diced tomatoes, oil, butternut, soya and buttermilk, ground cumin, chili powder, turmeric and mustard seeds. You're also going to need grated ginger, hing, cinnamon, and salt. I used hing because I don't eat onions and garlic. The first thing you need to do is peel your butternut. You need to do this carefully because it is quite a challenge to peel this vegetable and cut it. You want to make sure that you cut this down into tiny cubes of butternut. Please remember that you are going to be roasting this in the oven so you want it to cook nicely. The last thing you need is a raw butternut in your dish. If you don't want to use butternut, you can replace it with pumpkin. Please remember to also preheat your oven to 180 degrees before you start. Then you need to add this into a baking tray. Pour the half of the oil onto the butternut. Then throw in the spices. You're going to give this a mix and toss it for a while until everything is coated evenly. Then you're going to place it into the oven. On the stove, put the rest of the oil and the rest of the spices. You're going to give it a mix and wait for it to crackle. Once it crackles, you're going to add your diced tomatoes. Then add a drop of water and then your buttermilk. Mix it well and you will see that it won't look very good right now. But once everything comes together nicely, it will look great. You're going to leave it to simmer for two minutes and then you're going to blend it. Make sure that it blends well so all the tomato skins are blended. Then you're going to put it on the stove again and add your soya. Mix it well so the soya is coated evenly with the sauce. Check the oven and your butternut should be done. Poke a knife to see if the butternut is soft and tender. Then add this into your pot. Give it a mix and add a little bit more water if you would like. Once you've mixed it, leave it to simmer on low heat. And there you have it, roasted butternut tikka masala with its different flavors and nutrients. You can top this off with some celery, coriander or parsley. I've decided to use celery. You can serve with basmati rice, naan or roti. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I did. It's packed with flavors. Please let me know what you think of this recipe down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like, comment and subscribe.